I don't understand why these aren't working. Yes, sir. You know how you said that no one could get in here? Yeah? Why? Cameras are working. They're already here. Motherfucker. My god, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you, and we're not here to stay! Let us in! Oh, is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I've got an idea. Come on. This is going to be interesting. There's a fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. But why won't they have that locked out, too? We don't know that they've locked out anything. I mean, it's probably just a glitch. The emergency exits can't be locked out. They're part of Cloverdale's safety protocol. I swear if another fucking burb comes at me. Ah, let's see what I gotta do. I just have to figure out how to get up there. I hold on, how. hold on. Uh I, I already know how. You done that before? Yes. Yeah, once or twice. Oh, I guess I'm going in. Okay, well I'll go first, that's fine. I don't know about this. Why don't you let me go in first? I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot, but I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people, and if Jim's in there, he's gonna let Jim. us in. Jim? Jim? Jim the Renicop Jim? <sighs> Jim who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Deacon, up? That was so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. <sighs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte Facility. It has been seven minutes since your last login. <laughs> Please wait. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Agent Fire! Get down. Mother fuck you. were saying? Yeah. This world is stopping anything. Trust no one. Expect the worst. I'm beginning to see your point on that. Alert. Alert. Recovery fire. Do whatever you can to distract them. Got it. I'll signal you when it's clear. Out to the maintenance building. Uh. Hey, if you get a clear shot, will you shoot those goddamn speakers? Your voice is driving me fucking crazy. I'm with you there. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for the against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is... Where is it? There's another speaker here somewhere, right? Alert. This one has been called. Police are on their way. Stand oh yeah. And you will not be harmed. I don't think the police are going to be a problem. This guy looks like you might Oh, hold on. Some of these guys are dressed like security. Where's the... I want to look for another one of those stupid... I wonder. Maybe not. It's clear. Coming. Alert. Alert. Nine one one. Warning. Warning. Hey, hey, stop going before me. Ugh, she's gonna die. You gotta get find another girlfriend or wife in the zombie apocalypse. Take the wall open. No, I already see what I can do. Fuck that. Weapon storage? It looks like Jim was stuck enough. 
Nice. Jim's gonna get his head shut off when I get a chance. Your thing. Come on. It's locked. Hold on. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Sarah Irene Whitaker, security has been breached. The Cloverdale facility is in lockdown. Repeat. Override. ID 2007659. Override. Security hmm. protocol Alpha 761 has been overridden. Oh, God, shut the fuck up already. <laughs> they must not have locked out under security. You ready? Yeah, this time, let me go in first. Hey, this time, we go in together. Uh. Shit! Snipers up there on the roof. Not for long or not. Come on, come on, come on. So what, do you just like bring all his friends here? I doubt police are on their way. One more time. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659, security override and disable the fucking voice response. Alert. Alert. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Jim, wait! That son of a bitch! Well, it is like Jim. you said, a lot's changed. <sighs> that was Jim. Sure it's clear. Deadly force is yeah, on it. For use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. It's clear in here. Nothing here. Yeah, but I see a door outside. Alert. What do we got to do? Come on, let's try the door. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Security override and disable the fucking voice response. <laughs> Access denied. Sarah Irene Whitaker, your security clearance has been revoked. Oh. Please see an IT administrator for assistance. Fucking bitch! Hey, hey. Going in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Every gun on the other side of that door is aimed right here. We need a better plan. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, you got one? Yeah, there's a door right there. Uh, well, maybe. Uh, like, is there a way to that rooftop from here? Right here. Over here. Yeah. I notice things. There's a ledge out here. You should be able to climb up to the roof from that AC unit. You mean you should be able to climb up from there? Listen, I want you to go up there, lay down suppressing fire, keep their attention. When they're all looking up, I'm gonna go in from here, I'm gonna take it by surprise. What's that? The door's locked out, remember? <sighs> Shit. Come on, come on, I have an idea. What? Put your hand on that reader. Wait, what are you doing? Yes, I'm in. Okay, they locked out security, but they forgot the admin codes. From this station, I can get you a temporary access code. That's All right, funny. here's your ID code. Ready? Uh, yeah. Your full name and ID 5429009. Got that? No. Uh, 5429009. Uh, is that right? Yeah, let's go. R write it down. 5420... Oh, I fucking Alert. forgot it already. Alert. Five four two nine zero zero nine. Five four two nine zero zero nine. I believe. I, I don't Clear. even think. I'm gonna need uh, you to help me out. Something. I, I don't okay. think that's something I have to remember. I'm probably remembering it for nothing. Okay. Um. 
Oh, I gotta get up here. Okay. Ready? Yep. <clears throat> you got it? <clears throat> yeah. Wait until I get their attention, then you go in. Hey, don't take any chances. You kidding me? These days, that's all I do. Okay. Go. Hey. Come on. Thank you. Answer me, God damn it! Deacon Stand Lee, St. John. ID 542909. Tell your oh, to stand. Oh, I had it wrong. Welcome to Cloverdale Research She's up there. Facility. This Damn it, is your first go down like this. Please. Disable voice response. Come on, get her. Damn Open the fucking door. Here we go. Oh, the hell with you. You should have left when you had the chance. Surprise, motherfucker! Not this time. I saw Jim <sighs> Wait here. I'll bring him to you. Hold on, I'm I'll, I'll get I'll get to Oh Jesus. Didn't give me a chance. I said hands. Uh, all right, all right. Just, just tell me what you want. Okay. All right. He's clean. We were just defending ourselves. Get down there. All the dead people outside, Jim. You know the ones you shot in the head. Oh shit. I don't know what you're talking. <laughs> I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here? You didn't want that, did you? Jim's an asshole. <laughs> we just couldn't take the risk. <clears throat> Get up. You kind of sound like a zombie right now. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. You're gonna see some shit. Oh, no. I hope you know what you're doing. Thank you, Jim. Yes, we know what we're doing. She gonna kill him. She gonna kill him? You don't have to do this. Let me go. I'm sorry. We just can't take the risk. Oh! 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 Come on. I want to get the hell out of here. That was cold blooded. And look at look at Deke. We haven't seen Jack or Boozer yet. It's We're gonna find true. out. Yep, Nero. Nero's in charge I of this. I don't want to believe it. 
What are you talking about? <laughs> this is my fault. I, I don't understand. You're I should fault. have seen it when it first went in. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grape root here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me. He kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay. Who's, who's David? So David Gorman. He was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're, we're high tech and all that shit. And that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone. Then he didn't listen. Do we made zombies. The system. He got behind the firewall. He told me that this was some sort of classified project or something. I don't classified know. project. Just he slow wanted, down. And... He wanted to be the next Edward Snowden. You see, oh. he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing. David shit. Gorman exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit. And I didn't listen to him, Deacon. I told him that he was being paranoid. And he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here. Well, I don't understand. What do you mean? I pieced it together myself a little while later. The night that I was stabbed, I went to the Cloverdale office in farewell, and I went to, to go try and find David, but he was already gone. He was a zombie. He was gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. Hmm. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet. Oh my god. It started! Two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this is Holy this couldn't shit. be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could you understand. Have stopped? It's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. That's what places like this do. Welcome to the real world. Oh. Hey, uh, hold on for a second. Uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh, the power relays are in a building by the greenhouse is why. Okay, um, it's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. You think we could load that up? That makes yeah, sense. Sure. Okay, um, I'm gonna be right there. Okay. Something's gonna happen. Something's gonna fucking happen. It's gonna have to do, something's gonna have to do with, like, fucking Schizo. He's gonna fuck it up. See all the birds? Power building, yeah, that's uh it's gotta be it. Open, god damn it. There's a nest right there. That does it. Burn you little bastards. <sighs> Just hissed at me. Is there another nest here? Good, that's good. It looks like it looks like we got him. Now I just gotta jimmy that door. This isn't gonna be good. Something's gonna happen. That did it. These stories never end well. <laughs> that should do it. 
turn your bike. I'm waiting for it. Like all the zombies are gonna come in and they're gonna start eating corn. Uh Boozer, it's it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp, is anyone there? No one's gonna answer. No. Deke, is that you? No. Yeah, Boozer, it's me. Thank Deke, God. It is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you too. Listen, I don't I got a lot of time. Uh the, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the Ripper, you know the one that I'm talking about. Singing right? on the radio so is a bad idea. food here. Lots of food. Corn. So tell Ricky, tell Iron Mike, tell him to send someone. Wait, you found her? What, you found Sarah? Yeah, I found her. It was me, I found her. That is <laughs> awesome, Dick! When are you bringing her back? What, to Lost Lake? No. Uh. I'm not going to get into that right now. Yeah. Tell her. Tell her. You be safe, okay? Be safe. Boozer. 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 Lost Lake Camp, come in. Oh, damn it. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. Ricky. Okay, good. Listen up. Uh, Deke? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen. There's a I don't think we hear from you again. Iron Stop like talking! Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this... Did you find her? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I found her. All this time you're wasting. Ricky? I'm glad, Deke. You were right. We made it. I'm glad she did, too. Yeah, okay, listen, there's this farm, okay, uh, there's, uh, power, it's got electrical fences. Electric fences, okay. And if you come here, it, ask Boozer, it's where Sarah used to work, uh, by Iron Butte, he's gonna know the place. You come Why is it here, snowing all of a sudden? Food. You're gonna find lots of food. <laughs> okay. Oh, how's he doing? Oh, uh, good, good. You'll never believe who Iron Mike made head of security. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, that's great. Um. It's good to hear. Could you tell, you know what, listen, I gotta go, Ricky. But you know what? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Ah! Uh, uh, that thing you said about uh, lighting a candle. I think maybe you were right. I know. Ricky out. <laughs> Bye, Ricky. I'm telling you, we wasted so Say, much. John, this is Curry. Where are you? One of my men reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielson Pass. Yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's, uh, it's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this was where... And this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. The Colonel wants to know why you're not back yet. Tell him, uh, tell him we're on our way. Oh, no. Well, she's right there, at least. I mean... Did, uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I told him that you're fine and we're fine and that uh, I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. What do you think? I don't know. It doesn't look good. But it's worth a try, so uh, let's get moving. Yep, we gotta get back. Yeah, hold on. Hold on to him. Oh man, look at that snow. They had to stay in a... It's clear. Oh, that's bad news. Oh, wait. Wait a second. Wait a second. It might be good news. Are you gonna come out and eat something? Yeah, just a second. Everything I had is soaking wet. Good thing you're married.
<laughs> right in his face. I never thought I'd get warm again. <clears throat> um, did you want to eat something? Or? Yeah. 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 Let's let's eat something. That's a good idea. Yeah. What do you want to eat? God, I'm not even hungry. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> They're hungry, all right. You call me. Yeah. Well, that's a great idea. Here we go. Here we go. I hope there's like no nudity. It's about time. It's about time. They both earned this. Oh, listen to that music. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's filling him up. We got the piece of equipment we needed. Got some sex. <laughs> His captain saw it. St. John, come in. This is Corporal St. John. Uh, what's up, Captain? We need you to head back to command. Stat. Oh, no. Meet me at the infirmary. The infirmary? What's wrong? There's been an incident. I'm on my way. Oh, no. Okay, what the hell, huh? Lieutenant Whitaker, uh, are you there? Sarah? Come in. Sarah? Okay. All right, let's find out. Go, go. What the fuck is hey, going, on? going on? Captain? Dr. Jimenez has been murdered. What the fuck? What? The son of a bitch. Jesus Christ, slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. Taylor. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? It doesn't matter. Anymore. Taylor fucking did it? This day, as the sun sets on this island, it also sets on the life of a great man. Captain Arturo Jimenez. Doc, to many of you, is gone. Taken from us on the eve of our great victory. Captain Jimenez was murdered. Slaughtered. His life ripped from him. His blood, even now, soaks the tent where he toiled. Hour after hour. Tending our sick, our injured, our wounded. The great tragedy here is not that a good man needlessly lost his life. Though for that, I am indeed very sorry. This guy is very full of The great himself. tragedy here is that he could not be replaced. Dr. Jimenez was the only trained physician in our ranks. Perhaps in all the world. All the world. My eyes have been opened. I see now the great mistake we have made. We have filled our ark with books and seeds and discs. 
Medical journals, medical books, and encyclopedia we have in spades. What the hell? His movement is not going with what he's talking about. This terrible war is over. We'll teach us how to use them. Journals can be replaced. Books and encyclopedia can be replaced. Dr. Jimenez, our only doctor, cannot be replaced. It's like he's talking to God or something. This sounds the same. acted. Company discussed. That whole that whole thing. Yes.